we are going to open this very inappropriately named Pokemon set VMAX Climax special set to end 2021, the 25th year anniversary. This is not that. This is the Japanese booster box, special booster box, a high class box where every single pack contains an ultra rare or better, which means a V, VMAX or, or better. All right. This will be my first one ever. Probably will collect these going forward because there are, I believe, over 40 secret character rares in this set. The place where I bought this from for $99.99, he actually showed me his almost complete uh, master set of this, this set right here. And the last like four pages were all secret rares, all like, you know, character rares with their Pokemon and whatnot, which is really awesome. So I bought it for $99.99. You just saw it. We'll see how much this costs like a year from now at the end of 2022. But right now I'm going to open it. I don't really care. There seem to be still a lot of stock left where um, anywhere you can buy them. At the place I was at, there, he had like a bunch. So, And this has been out for at least a few weeks now. And they're not sold out like crazy. A lot of people don't collect Japanese at all. Um, and the hype has kind of died down a little bit at the tail end of 2021 so we'll see how it looks like once it starts getting warmer again or i guess once the holidays are all over it is the new year right now january 1st so we're going to start off this year with vmax climax i'm not making too much content anymore just because opening pokemon cards kind of gets repetitive and i don't really like to talk about market i don't do like market updates i don't do crazy crazy openings either so what am i gonna do i'm just gonna post stuff whenever i feel like it on youtube on ig uh, even on facebook cool and i think but i believe every pack gives you a hollow energy card which is pretty awesome milkery the spider escape rope fire energy this guy right here right hand my favorite trainer from Sword and Shield. Oh boy, we got Charizard. Oh, that is. Oh my God, there's another one. This is the. Is there a reverse hollow? It's in the reverse hollow slot. I don't know, but there's more hollows here. Oh, you get two hollows, two hollow rares. That is so cool, man. I can't even sleeve these up, or else it would take forever. Ooh, Mimikyu V Max. This is different. And there we go. <laughs> Already our first character rare secret character rare oh my goodness and i guess stick to the end of the video if you want to see me sleeve these all these bad boys i'll sleeve the character rare right away since we really don't want to scratch that up but look how beautiful these japanese cards are the silver borders just the crispiness of, of it the even like the even corners i mean edges even uh borders oh my goodness i'll put you right back there and i think we're supposed to get guaranteed like three to four secret rares in this in these boxes which is awesome that is really awesome you get 10 packs at a hundred dollars look at that you can already see all the hollows back there at a hundred dollars and guaranteed hollow graphics in every single pack uh i think i think it's a pretty good deal pretty good deal I think a lot of these cards are going to come out in brilliant stars, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm always, I've always been a fan of the Japanese cards more. It's just, um, yeah, they were, I guess, underappreciated for a while. Nice, Zekrom. And these uh, booster boxes used to be really cheap. Like these um, 10 packs, like the, the, the GX ones, the gold boxes. They were like 60 bucks back then when I first started started collecting. Now they're like $400, $300. So we'll see how this one does too. Urshifu. Ooh, nice. That has a different pattern to it too. It has like a different... Ooh, you can see that in the video really good. That reverse pattern right there. That is cool. All right. 
my first time making a pile for holo rares for holographic cards <laughs> that is definitely different all right psychic energy whatever that is the siloglyph or however you say that nice steal your steal your girl big boss boss orders orders and hoopa nice crowbat the staple card in 2021 and 2020 mr Cro mr crowbat This is a third pack in, and it, it feels good just to see this uh, uh, sh this uh, hollow energy right off the bat. The rock puppy, strong ass weedle, the sheep. This really nice trainer card is very useful in gameplay, from what I hear. Jolteon, Mr. Snorley, and Teleon, another heavily played card. Oh man, Eternatus VMAX. What a beautiful VMAX Pokemon and a Dedenne. I like those reverse hollows. They look really nice. Eternatus. I've been collecting Zacian, Zacian and Zamazenta. And I'm kind of considering Eternatus too because it is the bad guy. The main bad guy in Sword and Shield or... The, the boss Pokemon. Leaf Energy. Cedra. Charmeleon. Very nice EV with a Rayquazi in the background. Rose. Urshifu Water type. Ring Gicky. Uh, or not single. Rapid Strike. And we got a Hound Door, Hound Doom, and a Corvic Knight. Oh man! And there is our second, our second character rare. I don't even know this Pokemon's name. What is this? I have no, <laughs> I have no idea. Nice. We'll put that one right next to the Frost Moth. I like that Frost Moth though. That looks really cool. Oh, I see a Lightning Energy. Pikachu on its way. I believe there are some special Pikachus you can get from this set. So if we can get that, I'll be really happy. By the way, my chase cards are the Raihan, Raihan and Duraludon, which are my favorite Pokemon from Sword and Shield. Oh man. Oh, bald headed guy. Oh, look, oh, look at that. That is, oh man. Oh my goodness. Did I just get two secret rares? I got an alternate art and a character rare. Passimian. Oh my goodness. This is so... Let me let me put that to the camera better. This is so nice. I'm really glad I opened this now. Like this... I think this is going to be addicting. Man, I got to sleeve up two of them. That is really cool. Going to have to take some pictures of these afterwards cover up that Eternatus because there are still like at least four more packs I think man this is so cool we got the Umbreon Umbreon is very hot right now the Umbreon for Evolving Skies that just came out a few months ago are still some of the most expensive modern cards right now and some of the most sought after cards are those Umbreon alternate rares or alternate arts. Spiritune, the Dene, Rainbow Energy, Malmar. I don't even know this Pokemon. What is this Pokemon? Gardevoir, the uh, precariously human like Pokemon. And we have a Calyrex. Cool. I've been playing uh, Sword and Shield, C Town, C the Crown. Tundra <laughs> downloaded downloadable content on the switch and I just caught this guy he was actually kind of hard to catch I 
All right. We're getting close to the end here. But this has been a very good opening so far. This is really fun. I love these high class packs, these Japanese high class packs or, or booster boxes. Even though you only get 10, 10 packs, everything is going to be fun to open. Look at that. Oh man. Frost Lad, is that what she's called? He's called? I don't know. Oh, Zorark. Nice. Oh my goodness. The I've been saying the, net, the Dene repeatedly tonight, and <laughs> we got the alternate art, this character rare. Ah, these are so good. You can see down here, it says 200 out of 184. CHR, character. Character rare? I don't know. Let's put you right here. The Dene. Two packs left, and we've gotten three character rares maybe there's one more possibly there's one more by the way the backs on the japanese cards are so good so cool this bug that turns into a, a beetle mr mime the other bug graveyard whoever that is oh yes zarud Zarud is another one of my favorites. I'm actually collecting Zarud all by itself in its own very own binder for my collection. So this is going to go to that. This guy. And. Oh, yes. Zapdos. I'm also collecting Galarian. The Galarian birds. So Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. And an Appleton. And an Apple Flapple. Last pack. Last pack. Let's see what we get in here. And, uh, oh, I already got four secret character rares. So, yeah. If I get a fifth one, that would be, I think, unordinary. Which, this whole booster box is already unordinary. So, I'm happy. I am happy. Water bucket. I haven't seen this card. This trainer. I don't remember her from the games either. What? Leon. Yes, I'm a I I love Leon too. He's just a badass character in the game. Frost Moth. Yeah, nice. A uh Blaziken V Max. And reverse that reverse pattern is so nice. Look at that. Oh man. That's probably the best reverse pattern I've I've seen. Alright. So let's recap and I told you that you guys could stay to the end to see me uh, to see me sleeve cards. Let's go through these first though. That Umbreon alternate art. That is so nice. I know a lot of people will like this one. There are so many Umbreon fans right now. It seems to be the most popular EV card, Evolution, Calyrex. Eternatus, and here we have a Passimian. Am I saying that right? Passimian, Passimian, Passimian. The Denny. This one looks really cool. The artwork really pops out with the red and yellows and blues. Nice, the Denny. Cute Pokemon. Very cute Pokemon, and this is a very cute card. This looks like it'd be great for a little kid, and then. Whoever this guy is, I don't I don't know this Pokemon. I don't. We have Frostmoth. I went through like 10 years of no Pokemon in my life, so there's like a big gap that I'm missing in Pokemon knowledge. But Frostmoth, I know for sure. That is a cool Pokemon. Cool. So I will be sleeving the other cards. I am very much a a neat freak when it comes to Pokemon cards. With my cards, at least, I don't like to leave anything dirty or unsleeved if it's hollow, except for like the the common and uncommon reverse uh, reverse hollows. I sleeve up all the rare reverse hollows. So, yeah, I take I like I take my time and I do those every time I open packs if I get them. These are very nice cards. 
the hollow patterns. I love how the, the silver borders are holographic too. This is a very good New Year's present to myself. <laughs> Leon. My wife is awesome. But for Christmas, she gave me a present. The present was tickets to a concert, which... It's more of a present for her, <laughs> but but she got me a she got me a ticket to go along with her, pretty much. Um, it's a Korean rap group, and we're gonna go. See, they're gonna come to the U.S. U.S. of A, and we're gonna go see them for the second time in our lives. Here we go, An Apple, very old school group. Um, they've been around for a long time, like a, a big staple rap group, mainstream rap group in, in South Korea. And we're going to go see them. I, I, I forgot their names already, but it's like, it's like three o'clock in the morning right now. We just started the new year. So my mind is kind of crapping out right now. going to leave this guy back here because that's going into the special collection. My special Zarud collection, Zarud Sandstorm. I don't think I'm going to have enough uh, sleeves to finish this up. But if you enjoyed this set, I probably would pick some up. Uh, I'm not going to pick up a lot of them. This is the only one I bought. Plus, I don't want to spend too much money on Pokemon cards at the moment or... I just want to be smarter with money. I'm going to move soon to another place. And, uh, yeah. I'm not buying Pokemon like I did, like we all were doing in 2021. Or early 2021. Midway through 2021. Or even, like, at the end of 2020. Where everyone, where, where the hype was the highest. When Vivid Voltage, Champion's Path, Darkness of Blaze, when those sets were out. That was the... That was like the peak of the hype. And I think the Pokemon community community has slowed down in buying just a little bit. Prices are down and things are affordable, which is great for our collectors and, and, uh, and players. But not for the ones that are in it to flip and make some quick bucks like we saw a lot of people doing. I did it. I did some of it. Uh, eventually I kind of turned over to just collecting. I don't even advertise any cards anymore. I don't try to sell anything. I just keep them all. Like I'm keeping all these cards. Uh, one, because I don't really want to deal with selling cards anymore. I just like them and I'd like to keep them for a long term. I like my kids to, to, to see my cards. Uh, I think it just, think, I think it should be really cool to have these cards like 10, 20 years from now. Kind of like how people are looking at base set back then, from back then, and it's still really cool to have those cards. I think it'll be really cool to have these cards in 10 to 20 years too. Because we did have a big boom during the Sword and Shield block. So a lot of new collectors are in the game, and to them it's going to feel like their, their version of base set. So if we have these cards you know, a long time from now, it's going to kind of have that similar feel. My kids opened up their first Pokemon packs in 2021. They sleeved their first Pokemon cards or any card, any trading card in general. It was their first time sleeving cards. I actually have one right here. A Beriscuta. <laughs> Beriscuta. If you can see the dents on this plastic, look at that. Like they're not good at it yet. But they're only three and four years old, so yeah. Like they crinkle up all the plastic and everything. To someone who likes to keep their cards really minty minty, it can be hard to watch, but that's why they're just doing bare scooters. My son did pull a rainbow Leon full art last week which is really awesome because I, I sort of collect Leon's too 
at least going forward, I want to. Inteleon, very good Pokemon right now. Probably the best out of the, the starter Pokemon in, in Generation 8. And I think I just, I heard that, I knew that the, the like every, every Pokemon region, like Kanto and Johto and, you know, everything, Sinnoh, all the way, all the way up to like now is kind of based on a real, like a real area. And the, the Galar region is based in Scotland, I think. I knew that it was somewhere Europe-y, like somewhere in Europe. Or Western Europe. I just didn't know like if they had an actual country or region to 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 base it off of. And I think someone said either Scotland or or Finland or something like that. Scotland. Which is pretty cool. I like this I like this 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 time block. I like I like this block of sword and shield because I live in a cold climate too. Like it's right now it snowed all day. Like it snowed on me all day today while I was out and about doing work and you know then we get the town the the crown tundra i can't say that i can't say that right crown tundra while i'm playing in my switch right now and it's like there's a bunch of snow it's, it's kind of cool it's kind of cool to have like actual weather matching your real life in the video games and like in the card game zekrom this is zekrom from Vivid Voltage, I think. I opened a ton of Vivid Voltage when it came out. And I think that's one of the sets where people missed out on. So they printed, Pokemon reprinted, like, Vivid Voltage so much. And it's it's available now, like a year later. The sets that are really not, we're not going to see again, I don't think, are the base set Sword and Shield and Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. Which I... Ironically, I have both both of those sets sealed and saved up booster boxes and I've sold everything else right before they got reprinted, which I don't know. I, I feel I think I have a good knack. I have a knack for selling things right before they, they, they drop in price. I'm not always right, but it just seems that way. I, I sold a lot of my stuff during the, the, the max hype, during the, the peak of the Pokemon hype this year like I got rid of a lot of which I may regret this I may regret this later on but I got a, a rid of a lot of champions path ETBs which uh, yeah I might wa I want to I might have done done things differently if, if I had this this insight I have now but uh, I just kept one champions path ETB one vivid voltage ETB and a hidden fates etb that's pretty much all i had in 2021 until like some some base set short and sword and shield etbs came back out and I, I bought some of those like three i think three or four of those but uh, i'm not really collecting much um anything like super cool like upcs or any of the gold boxes or anything like that this is really what i got just a lot of simple cards that Umbreon though it's not even a character secret rare it's the Umbreon alternate art I think wait this one has CSR and the other ones have CHR I don't really know what that means this one is Umbreon V for sure and these are not V's so I don't really know what that means let me know if you know what that means <laughs> alright cool thanks for watching Thanks for, you know, sticking around and doing this opening with me to start off 2022. Hopefully things get better this year and uh, hopefully Pokemon can keep printing cards because it keeps the prices low for people like me that want to open cards and, and buy and collect sealed products. So, yeah, do your thing. Pokemon cards are somewhat my thing. I'll make content. Every here and there, whenever I have something interesting, but no more of like the opening packs. I used to do three videos or three or four videos a week in the first half of 2021. And that's 
that's like the easiest burnout possible like just to open cards all the time it's super fun but it started to like get repetitive especially because i'm not going to be buying like different sets all the time you're going to see the same packs the same sets opened up every week every day from all the content creators so i'm pretty sure you might get bored of that too just the same way i was getting bored of it but thanks vmax vmax climax is freaking awesome pick yourself up some of these if you if you like japanese sets or if you want to collect something a little different they're, they're, this they're not going to have this exact thing in english so the, the the same cards will probably come out but not exactly like the way this high class pack is where we get 10 10 packs in a small booster box like this it doesn't happen in english so thanks for watching cool